Did you? We did. My name is Russ Kempton. And I'm Sue Kempton. And we are prostate cancer survivors. Is he a pretty fun guy? <laughs> he got his present day training in college, of course it was. <laughs> well, Russ worked at the ticket office. Um, at Russ would give his uh, fraternity brothers prime tickets to the football games. <laughs> One in every six men will, during the course of their life, come down with prostate cancer. You know, they hear about it. It's like having pancreatic cancer. You don't know what your pancreas does until you get cancer, and then it's almost too late because there's no cure for pancreatic cancer. But there is a cure for prostate cancer. It'll be six years this March uh, 2011 that I've been uh, prostate cancer free. I was uncovered and diagnosed uh, in October of 2004. What? I happened to be gardening with my wife in our backyard in Plano, and after gardening, I was not feeling good. And up in the hospital the next day, the cycle was over, the symptoms came back. Um, although Russ was the one that certainly had the cancer cells within his body, it was a disease that we fought together as a couple. Uh, basically, you have an exam. It's an RTD, an adult digital exam, exam. RDE. RDE. So yeah, you do, when you're, a digit is in your backside for a couple seconds. It's worth having that done so you can't survive. No big deal. It's a very easy test to have done and um, men need to understand women have been having this similar sort of test for eons, so get over yourselves. As a couple, I know it's quite scary for quite a few um, couples to think that their sexuality will not be what it was prior to diagnosis, and um, it hasn't <laughs> been that, has it? It has not at all. <laughs> you still the old war used to be, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. Because I tell you what, though, you know, once you have that finger, the doctor can also tell if you've had your tonsils out. <laughs>